Hey Sirs and fans, it's Goyth here. Today I want to talk about optimal mouse and keyboard controls. So to do that, what you're going to want to do is go to Options, Keybinds, make sure that this is on keyboard slash mouse, and then go to Advanced Control Customization. First thing we want to go to is View. So if you're like me, this is probably bound to zoom in and out. So this is left alt mouse wheel. That'll work. Um, some people like to swap this around with the velocity limiter and have the velocity limiter on a button. That's a choice you're gonna have to make. Um, personally, I think having it on the velocity limiter is the best. So we're gonna leave it how it is. Next, we're gonna go to movement. Again, pretty standard stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and go down to strafe up and down. And you'll notice this is left shift on mine. So this is gonna be a little different than yours. And I, I su highly suggest that people map this to left shift instead of left control. And the reason for that is when you are holding your hands on, you know, A, W, S, D, you essentially, when you go to hit control, you'll notice that your hand shifts off those buttons. We don't want to do that. You know, strafe down is very important. So what we're going to do is we want to put this on left shift. And by putting on left shift, you can touch all the same keys you were before without shifting your hand. And again, strafe up for space bar. Again, throttle forward and back. This is just kind of replace strafe forward and back. You know, your G safeties, you can kind of put these out of the way. Cruise control is kind of nice if you're in the persistent universe. And you'll also notice that something's different here. So instead of putting this on left shift, I've put this on right mouse button. And the reason for this is you're gonna be using a lot of afterburner. And we also had to replace shift, right, with strafe down. So another thing you're gonna to wanna to go to is gonna be your weapons. And since we've put the right click on afterburner, that means we need to map weapon group two to map, you know, weapon group one. So essentially button one, that'd be your left click. So for the most part, it's a very simple change, but it can have enormous effects on your way of flying. So to fly, we're gonna go ahead and hop in some Vandal Swarm. So if you guys end up ever getting a bug with your right mouse button firing by accident, instead of just providing afterburner, it's just as simple as going back in and remapping it. So we're gonna turn on our auto gimbal. Make sure that's on. So I, what I like to do is I like to keep that velocity limiter, whether it's a joystick or a mouse, and keep that one notch above in the Gladius. So these other ships, like the Sabre, kind of the same, similar thing, but you're gonna be using a lot more afterburner to try and keep that velocity limiter there. As you can see, I'm strafing up, trying to catch, doing some roll. Strafing up again, because we want to minimize that pip deflection. Alright, this tar target's coming in kind of fast, so we're gonna strafe backwards a little bit. Keep that distance, we're rolling again. And in Gladys, it's a little bit more difficult to roll. As you can notice, we're rolling very, very quickly here. And this is kind of comes down to shift selection. If you're flying with mouse and keyboard, I would highly suggest you fly a bigger ship like a Saber, or even a Hornet potentially. You'll notice that the roll is not e even remotely as aggressive.
again we're strafing up, minimizing that pip reflection. And strafing left to match it. Same thing here, we're going for this target. Strafing its direction, we're gonna do some reverse strafe just to keep some distance. So we can keep that nose on target. There we go. So we're gonna strafe left. So we wanna minimize that pit deflection. Bring us down. Again, strafing the direction of the target, trying to minimize that pip deflection. And this is really important when you're fighting, kind of third partying, essentially like what we're doing here. So, again. We're strafing right, D, some afterburner, some spacebar now. We want to minimize the deflection. Approaching the target, strafing left. Again, this is really important when we're trying to third party a target like we are now. So, yeah, that for the most part kind of completes the tutorial. Um, if you got any questions, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks.